you know, and worry about me. And uh, thank you for the support. Really appreciate it. And now, <clears throat> baseball questions. Mark? After what's certainly been a tough week for you, how excited are you to take the mound tomorrow night with a chance to clinch the World Series? I was very excited. You know, when, it's like uh, when you win a game at World Series, it's like uh, a dream come true. And uh, I think everybody feels the same way. I feel really excited and really happy to win again. Uh, we get a chance tomorrow to, 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 to win the whole thing. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. George? Since you pitched last, have you done anything baseball related? And if you haven't, how's I that threw a little right? bit just uh, back home in Dominica. I played catch a little bit, and uh, and uh, as soon as I got here today, I played catch too now uh, on the batting case. On the far left, Edinson. Edinson, to your left. What are your emotions? Do you think going to be like on the mound tomorrow when you get out there? Oh, I think it's going to be for me really excited, and uh, you know, I just want to thank Gav. You know, for for this my opportunity tomorrow to to be on the mound and and uh, and show the world, you know, what I'm here, you know, to compete with other team and, and give the chance our team to win. And and uh, I'm pretty sure my dad gonna be proud of me seven pitch tomorrow and on the mound. So we'll see. What, what else, David? I didn't, I didn't it was a, a very difficult situation when you pitched in game one, obviously. And were, were you okay with the way the way it was all handled? Yeah, I think uh, that was the the best way to, you know, they was, they told me because uh, I, I, I don't I don't even know if uh, if they told me before the game start. My wife told me before that uh, I don't I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to pitch. So I think she decided to to tell me later. And uh, I think uh, that was the right choice because, uh, like I say, I, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be able to pitch that day if I find out before, before the game. Alden, Edison, just a quick two-part question: um, Will you um, honor your father in any way tomorrow? Will you write his name anywhere in your uniform, his initials, or something? Yeah, like? probably in my hat, inside my hat, I put okay. it inside my hat, maybe, and uh, or in my glove. So I do something, but I haven't done it yet. But maybe tomorrow I will. And what what can you tell us about your father, and you know what kind of person he was, what kind of influence he uh, he had on on your life? I think he was he was everything for me. He was one of the greatest men ever, you know. And uh, I remember when he bought me my, my first my first glove, and you know my first spike, you know, drove me to the ball to the to the field. And, you know that was uh, he know he knew uh, that's what I want to be. I want to be a baseball player, and, and he gave me a lot of support, and, and, and he buy everything for me. And he, he you know he put me in the right way. Couple more questions on the aisle, on the right aisle in the center. Speaking of all that your father did for you when you were younger, how much would it mean to you to go out in your first game after this this tragedy and to clinch a World Series championship for you? Um, for me, it's, you know, I wish he, he can be here right now and, and enjoy every game I pitch. And, and tomorrow is going to be, I think my mom and, and my rest of my family going to be so happy to see me, you know, pitch. That's my mom. So, like, you know, she, she told me before I got here, like, just go over there and enjoy the game like you, you always do and, and, and be proud. We are proud of you. And be proud and make people proud, more proud than, than they are. So, and and your dad passed away, and, and she told me he passed away, bro. He was really happy. See you pitching a big league, you know, you dream, and you know, and he was really proud. <laughs>